Ladies and gentlemen, after so many requests, I present to you the mercury bubble displacement effect thing. Project files and footage are all linked below. Thank you for 24k. And if you post your video with this or any other effects I teach, add the hashtag Kamisi's Tut so I can make a reaction video and give you guys some feedback. With that being said, let us begin. This effect is so simple yet so fing fun. It's made up of three layers your original clip, the bubble effect, and a mask of the car on top. Let's focus on this layer first. With our original clip, on our timeline let's duplicate it and you want to mask out an outline of your car be that with rotor brush 2.0 the pen tool or third party plugins such as mocha pro once that's done make sure you add some feathering and then we duplicate this mask and name it mercury this is where the fun begins the effect we are using is called cc mr mercury <laughs> so let's apply this to a layer and if we turn off all the other layers we can see the effect take place we can take our emitter which is this circle in the middle and move it up above the car such that if we enable all the other layers we basically have our final effect what's great about this effect is that it's applied directly to our car shot so we get realistic lighting on the mercury blob there are many emitter controls and i'll leave a link below to jk in motion who broke all of them down but to put things simply radius x and y affects the emitter size the birth rate is how many particles come out of the emitter longevity is how long they last before disappearing gravity how quickly they fall down if we go negative they go up and if we leave it at zero they just sort of spray out from the center the resistance makes the liquid thicker but let's think about animations here you'll see it's divided into three sections the top section are all explosive ones with the twirl and vortex adding spins the next section are directional and using the direction gravity and extra you can determine the shape we want and the jet one is basically works like a trail and is dependent on your producer's position you can play around with all of these to make up your own design however here are my settings for this one here and here are my settings for this one here also if you want to do this fun spin effect with it you can duplicate the mercury layer hit p and move it down underneath our car then right click and add a null object and then we drag this pick whip from both our mercury layers into our null object next we use the anchor point tool to recenter the anchor point to the middle of the car finally hit r on the keyboard to bring up rotation and we can click the clock to add a keyframe move a few frames and rotate our null object now both mercury blobs rotate in a really cool way but don't forget to ease in your keyframes and to add motion blur now don't forget that you can change whatever mr mercury displaces say you think this looks too much like a car well then you can double click to go back to the composition then on our car mask we can add an effect like 12 and this curves the car inwards with these settings here now it looks less like a vehicle but still matches our car lighting properties you can also change the color of it by adding a lumetri color effect to it and changing the tint the last thing that i'll suggest is to use this effect with other effects like this smooth sliding effect which you can learn right Right here let me know what other effects you want to learn next this and all my project files are available on my patreons links below and with that being said i'll see you in the next video